Jury selection began today in a high-profile murder case. This is the third time Dewan Hammond has stood trial for the death of a witness in a murder case. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff is in the newsroom with how some early developments could affect this. Mark? Missing evidence, witnesses who don't want to testify. These were the themes in Dewan Hammond's first two trials, and they've already resurfaced in this one. If you make a conscious decision not to come uh, and uh, swear an oath to tell the truth and give honest testimony, then you can be found in contempt of court. That was Judge Angela McCormick Bissig talking to James Hickman. Hickman, who is behind bars on an attempted murder charge, has been called to testify in Dewan Hammond's trial, but he says he will not take the stand. Hammond is accused of hiring Stephen Petway to kill Troya Shekels in 2009. She was a witness who was supposed to testify against Hammond's brother, Lloyd, in another murder trial. Petway was convicted last year and sentenced to 55 years in prison, but Hammond's first trial never got off the ground because three witnesses didn't show up. Hickman and another witness, Ike Kennison, who is also in jail, also refused to testify against Hammond in his second trial. There's an issue that's come up regarding witnesses, and I think both parties agree that we'd be better off knowing Mr. Kennison's intent uh, before we begin jury selection. Another concern? Ted Schaus, Hammond's defense attorney, says there are problems tracking down 84 pages of evidence. That evidence was from Lloyd Hammond's murder trial, so it's unclear how it will affect this trial. Prosecutor Jim Lazowski says they have been looking for those pages. I don't uh, suspect anything uh, wrong was done. It's just it's... You know, we both were interested in accessing the file for the same reasons. This issue could be important because Hammond's second trial was declared a mistrial. That happened when prosecutors discovered missing evidence had not been turned over to defense attorneys. Depending on how fast jury selection goes, opening arguments could begin tomorrow. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.